In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. O Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one in Christ Jesus our Lord. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. <clears throat> Welcome back, everybody, to the uh, Coptic Rites class. I hope you had um, a great week. Uh, last time <clears throat> we uh, started um, to learn the some of the phrases uh, in Coptic that we can use for common conversations. So we will continue that today. First, I will very quickly can I just review the Coptic letters again. This is just a good review for all of us. Um, so I will simply say the, um, the the letter, the name of the letter and the pronunciation. So first we have alpha, A, Vita is V or B, Gamma is G, G, H or N, G, Delta Z or D, E is E, so U, so U, Zeta is Z, Eta, E, like long E, Theta is Th, th or T, Yota is I or Y, Kappa is K, Lulla is L, May is M, Ne is N, Xi, which looks like two Zs on top of each other. This is the X sound, like the KX sound. O is O, P, which looks like the, the Greek pi. This is the P sound. Rho, which looks like the English P, this is the R sound. Sima, which looks like a C, is S. Tab is T. Epsilon is V, O, or E. If we remember the rule of the epsilon, if epsilon comes after an A or an E, it's a V. If it comes after an O, it's an O. And if it's anything else, it is an E. Phi is the pH sound, like soft F. Ki is K, and uh, in some of the Greek words, it's sh, S-H, or ch. Epsi is ps, P-S sound, ps. U is the W, it's the, like a, a long O-A sound. Shy, this looks like the U with a tail under it. Sh, this is the S-H sound. Phi, which looks like the English Q. This is the F sound. Chai. All of these letters after, after U, all of these are ancient Egyptian letters. They don't have equivalent in, mm -hmm. um, in, in Greek. Chai is the Ch sound. Hori, this looks like a backwards S. Hori, this is the H. Jinja is the G or J. Chima. This is a ch, like TCH or CH sound. Ch. And finally, T is like two letters together. It's the T and the I together, like T, like this, the word so T. Okay. Let's review the words that we learned last week for a common conversation. So we learned se, which means yes. We learned emmun which means no, no free, which is hi or hello, literally means good or happy. Ogay, ogay means farewell, like goodbye. Shy is feast. Sheep ehmot, sheep ehmot, which means thanks, thank you. Emmon ehli, which literally means it's nothing, which could be used as you're welcome. So somebody does something for you, you say sheep ehmot. And then they can respond and say, We also learned about the family members. So, Payot is my father, Yot is father, Pa is my, Payot, my father, Tamav is my mother, Pa Son is my brother, Ta Soni, Ta Soni is my sister, Pa, pa Shiri is my son. Ta Sheri, Ta Sheri is my daughter. Pa Hai is my husband. 
and Ta is Himi is my wife. So we read some of these sentences like Se Pason Stefanos, yes, my brother Stephen. Se Tamav, yes, my mother. Emmon o Shepehmot. Emmon means no, Shepehmot means thanks. Emmon o Shepehmot, no thanks or no thank you. Nufri Tamav Emmenrit. Nufri is hello. Tamav, my mother, Emmenrit, beloved. So my hello, my beloved mother. Ogai, Ogai, Pahai, Emmenrit. Goodbye, my beloved husband. Nufri Shai, happy feast. Tishe Pehmot means we thank or thank you. And then the, the name of the person, like Ava Yusuf. So we say thank you, Ava Yusuf. You can say Tishe Pehmot. Ava Yusuf. Emmon Ehli, which means you're welcome. And then the person, so Emmon Ehli Tasoni, you're welcome, my sister. Ogai Benyot Yunes, goodbye, Father Yunan. Ogai Cheneb Choice, farewell in the Lord. And Amin Es Eshobi, Amin, so be it. And we also learned the sign of the cross. How do we say it properly? We say Chen Evron Em Evyot in the name of the Father, Nem Epshiri and the Son, Nem Pi Epnev Maeth Oweb and the Holy Spirit Unoti in Oot Amin One God Amin. So Chen Evron Em Evyot Nem Epshiri Nem Pi Epnev Maeth Oweb Unoti in Oot Amin. So today we will learn some more um, of the um, uh, like. Uh, these easy uh, words for conversation. Uh, so we will learn some uh, some greetings. Um, so can I have some volunteers uh, to read some of these words? And if no volunteers, I'll start ask, uh, calling upon people. Ashby. Yes. Ashby. Pick up pun. Pick on. Very good. Pick on. Okay. <coughs> Very pick good. Run. Ash pe pick on. Ash means what? Pe pick on. Ron is name. Pick is your. So ash pe pick on. What is your name? This is for masculine. Um, uh, Coptic is a gender language. Uh, mm -hmm. So there are some nouns that are masculine and some nouns that are feminine. We will learn about that also maybe in a few weeks here. Um, the word ash means what? Even, even um, in, in Arabic, it was borrowed from Coptic. So when, when somebody like buy something new or something, what do we say? Ish, 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 right? Ish or ash is the same word, which means like what? Like, what is this nice thing? <laughs> ish, ish, ish. So ash, pepe, karan, what is your name? Very good. Uh, Sue, can you read the next one? Ashpe Peran. Good. So for feminine, Ashpe Peran. We don't have the, the kappa, so the kappa is for the masculine. So if we're asking a girl what, what her name is, we say Ashpe Peran. What is your name? And then the response, let's see, uh, Christina. Peran Pe. Yeah, Paranpe, and then your name, like Paranpe Gergis. So my name is Gergis. Okay. Um, let's see. Gabby, can you say the next word here? Gabby? Okay, uh, Isis, can you say the next word? Um, say it again. Your, your, your audio is breaking up. Uh, or something? Yeah, the, the fourth one here, just four letters. Sane, I don't know. So so this is an N, this is the capital Nani. N. Nani, yes. Nani. Nani means good. Good, like somebody asks you how you are, how are you? You can say Nani, I am good. 
Okay. Can you can you try the next word also since you already have this nane? It's the same nane and then here. Nane uh, but, uh and two two t. Yeah, so here we have four vowels after each other. <laughs> so we have an O, and then we have an O epsilon, and then we have a yota. So this is at o we at o we yeah. at o. This is the first o, and then another o epsilon. It's a long o at o we. Mm -hmm. So nane at o we, which means good morning. Nane at o we. Nane at o we. Thank you, uh, Mina. Can you say the next one? Yeah. No. <clears throat> sorry. Mm -hmm. No, and then. Oh, oh. This is this is the R and then O epsilon and then the Hori and the Yota. Okay, so non -e or Ro Ro He Ro He. Very good. Nane Rohi. Nane Rohi. Nane is good. We already learned that. Rohi is evening. So Nane Rohi is good evening. Okay. Uh, next, uh, Madame Nadia. Lower, uh, lower, please. I'm so sorry. No free a a ho a a ho a ho e a ho u a ho u a ho u. Yeah, here again, epsilon uh, three vowels o and then o epsilon. No free, we took no free already, which means good, right? Or happy. E ho u is day. You know, we say, for example, alleluia fai pepi, e ho u. Alleluia, this is the day. So, e ho u is day. No free, e ho u means good day. That, that's also another greeting. We can say good day or good morning, mane at o. We can say good day, no free, e ho u. Okay. Uh, Thomas, can you do the next one? Yes. No free. And 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 dorhi. This is the ginger. E gorhi. E gor, good. E gor. No free. E gor. Again, no free is happy or good. E gor is night, so no free. E gor is good night. All right. Next one is very easy. Uh, let's see whose turn. Uh, um, go back to mm -hmm. the beginning, Madame Nadia Mashail. Okay. Rapne. Ma. The, the very last word. Then, uh, ma, uh, this is the Yota, uh, which is okay. the I. Okay. Okay. The last word is uh, pa, uh, Pachi. Pasi. 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 Pasi, yeah. Very, no, very passive. common phrase we hear in the liturgy all the time. Mm. So this is the yota, which is an I, and then this is the rho, which is an R. And then we have a long E, an N, and another long E. Irini Yes, Irini Posse, very good. Irini yeah. Posse. We hear this all the time, now we can read yeah. it. Irini means peace, posse be with you. So Irini posse is peace be with you. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Christina, can you say the next one? Also a very easy word. Agapi. Agapi or agapi. Yes, agapi in Greek, agapi in Coptic, which means love. You can also say it as a greeting. <laughs> You know, in, in the monasteries, uh, you you hear the monks uh, when they uh, when they go visit one another or talk to one another, they say what Arabi ya Abi, right? Uh, it's it's a greeting of love. Okay, so Arabi. Okay, and the next one, uh, Isis. Um, when uh, when. This that's an S, right? Uh, it, the, it's, it's an S H. She. She. she ne, 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 
N and then this is R O M P I. Yeah, she in the rumpy. She in the rumpy. She in the rumpy. She is is the number hundred. Rumpy is years. She in rumpy literally means for a hundred years. I will explain to you what this phrase is because you hear it um like uh they can say to one another or priests say to one another like after prayer they say she and rum literally means for a hundred years uh and then the next one um let's see amina okay and dog uh it sold shumped and yes don't it sell Ne, rom and, yeah, yeah. And rom p and the rom p and This is the p. And rom p. Yeah. Enthok shomt she and the rom p. Enthok shomt she and the rom p. Enthok means you. Shomt we also learned in the numbers. Why is not shomt right? So shomt is three. Yeah. She we already said is a hundred, and in rom p is years. So enthok shomt she and the rom p literally means. You know, for you, 300 years. So what does this mean? Um, we said that uh, it's, it became like a common greeting um, when like at, at the end of the prayer or something, uh, the clergy may greet one another and say, she and rumpi, and then the response will be, um, and the, the, trans the loose translation or the Arabic, um, um, uh, greeting, which is not really exactly yani, accurate, they say may you live and pray, right? Uh -huh. So what does may you live and pray or have to do with shum and rumbi, 100 years? What is, where did this come from? What does this 100 years mean? Um, <clears throat> so this, this 100 years is, is a greeting of the blessing. That means like may God bless you for 100 years. So again, where did this 100 years come from? Um, this is based on Abraham when he, was li when he lived for 100 years and then God blessed him by giving, giving him his son Isaac. He, he begot Isaac when he was 100 years old. So <clears throat> of course, Abraham lived all of this time you know, following God and following the commandments of God. And, and so he received the blessing. So here the, the, greeting is, the, the greeting is taken from, you know, the biblical blessing of our great uh, for our father, our patriarch, Abraham. Um, so it reminds us of the blessing that somebody would receive when he continues to serve God, when he continues to pray. Abraham never thought in his life that he would have children. Um, and even he started to do things uh, not according to God's plan because he thought, well, maybe I need to help God, you know. So um, he, he married his uh, wife's concubine and begot uh, Ishmael, and this became a big mess. But when, you know, when he returned back and he followed um, the plan of God, so God blessed him with his son Isaac. And, and he was 100 years old when he uh, begat Isaac. So here the greeting again is like, may you live and pray, may you live and serve, uh, even for 100 years, just like our, our father Abraham lived and worshiped God for 100 years and received the blessing. Now the response is 300 years. So, okay, we understand the 100 years is from the blessing of uh, Abraham. There is another very important um, character also in the Old Testament. Um, his name is Enoch. His name is Enoch. Um, <clears throat> and who, what, what do we know about Enoch? What is the, what is the very important uh, aspect that, that the Bible mentions about Enoch? He did not die. He lived he did a long not time. Die. Exactly. It says, and Enoch walked with God. Yeah and was not found because God took him. Mm -hmm. How old was Enoch when, when, when God gave him this great blessing? I think you can guess now. He was 300 years old. So 
<laughs> when one of, one of us tells the other, like, may you live and pray and be blessed, like the blessing of Abraham, who begot his son, even at an old age, at 100 years old. So the response is, may you live and be blessed to the point that God would, would find you worthy to take you, and not to take you in a bad way, but yani, to give you a great blessing that, you know, nobody in, in, in the history of, of mankind other than Enoch uh, was uh, given this blessing, other than Elijah the prophet, you know, thousands of years later. So the blessing here is may you, may you be blessed by the blessing of Abraham, and the response is may you be blessed by the blessing of Enoch. Very beautiful once we understand what it means. Okay, uh, the next one, uh, let's see who's next, uh, Madame Nadia. Okay. Uh -huh. <coughs> Well, which Nadia? Uh, Nadia, uh, the other one. Nadia George, okay. Nadia George, um, yes. Sorry. Okay, so uh, um, um, this is M M M Empire 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 Rit and Empire Riti N. Yeah, Empire Riti on Empire Riti on uh, on means no or negative. Empiriti means like this. So empiriti on means no, not like this. So like somebody's doing something and you want to tell them, no, this is not the right way to do it. So you can say empiriti on. Right. Okay. Um, Madame Seham? Si uh, empiriti. Yeah, se empiriti. Se empiriti. So say we already took, say means yes. So say empiriti means yes, this, you know, yes, like this. So, you know, again, if somebody's doing something, they ask you, this is the way I should do it. And you can say yes, say empiriti. Okay, and then the last word here, uh, Sue. Sue. Mm -hmm. The very last one at the bottom. Mari Yes. Shopi. Can you raise it up a little bit? I'm having my time. I don't know how to raise it. I can't see that. There's a dot on top of it. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Nimak. Ak. Oh, it's okay. Okay. Yeah. Mari if naughty, Shofi Nimak. Mari if naughty, Shofi Nimak. Very good. If naughty, we took. If naughty, Nainan, God have mercy, right? If naughty is God. Nimak with you. Mari if naughty, Shofi Nimak, may God be with you. Okay, so I, this is another greeting, like you want to say goodbye to somebody. And uh, even in Arabic, we say, what, Rabbina Ma'ak, God be with you, right? So in Coptic, Mar Evnoti Shopi Nimak. So I, I will read all of the phrases. Ashpe Pekran, what is your name for masculine? Ashpe Peran, what is your name for feminine? Paran Pe, my name is. Nane, good or fine. Nane at Owi, good morning. Nane Rohi, good evening. Evening, Nofri Ehou, good day, Nofri Egor, good night, Irini Pasi, peace be with all, Arabi is uh, uh, literally means love or hello, She and Rumpi for a hundred years, and Tukshom She and Rumpi, you for 300 years, Empiriti on, no, not like this, say Empiriti, yes, like this. Mare if noti, shopi nimak, may God be with you. Okay. Any any questions about uh, these phrases? Okay. So now we will also take um, the uh, the church leaders. How do we address the church leaders, or who are the church leaders? So first of all, at the very top is let's see, Thomas. Can you read the first one? Very good. 
So Isos be Christos, Jesus Christ, the, the, the top leader, the leader of the entire church, of course, is our Lord Jesus Christ, Isos be Christos. Okay, the next one, Madame Nadia Mikhail. I can see it. The second I can one. See it. Let me. See. Okay. Um, P. 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 Um, P. T. T. P. T. P. P. T. P. Papi. This is an R, yeah. Uh, rap fish. T P. Uh, P pot ray. P pot yar. ray. Yar. Yar. She's she's okay. Tipa pe rai chick. Yeah, p pot re yar. It's a big word. P it pot, is a big uh, word. Yeah. Yeah. P pot re yar she's okay. Which is who the patriarch. P pot re yar wow. she's. No wonder why it's an important word. <laughs> yes. So of course uh, the patriarch is the head of the church. Um, of, of course, as we said, the Lord Jesus Christ is the head of the church, and then the patriarch is, is, is the visible head of the church. So, the patriarchies. Okay, the next one, um, Christina. Um, P. Metropolitis. Yes, thank you. Very good. P. Metropolitis which is the metropolitan, even the same word, metropolitan, metropolitis. P. Metropolitis is a bishop who is um, uh, um, overseeing a large city, a metropolitan, um, <clears throat> P. Metropolitis. Okay, the next one, uh, Isis. Um, P. Kutos. P. Epis. Kutos. P. Epis. Kutos. P. Epis. Kutos. This is a P. P. Epis. P. Epis. Kutos is the bishop. Okay. So, so we we have P. Epis. Kutos. This is the the like the regular bishop. And then the next rank in the bishopric is the P. Metropolitis, which is the metropolitan. Mm -hmm. Most most bishops are ordained as as like a bishop, P. Episcopus. Mm -hmm. And then typically um, later on, either uh, because of their many services or because of their many years or because their diocese starts to grow, um, then they could be promoted as a metropolitan, P. Metropolitis. Uh, the, the only exception is the Metropolitan of Jerusalem, uh, whose today his name is Amba Antonius. He's the Metropolitan of uh, the Holy City, Jerusalem. He is the only bishop who, according to the church rites, is ordained a Metropolitan right away. He is not ordained first a bishop and then a Metropolitan. And he is the highest ranking Metropolitan in, in the whole Holy Synods. Even even if he is just ordained yesterday, um, he 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 kind of goes into the rank of metropolitan and becomes um, the uh, the highest ranking uh, metropolitan. This is because of the setup um, in in Jerusalem that um, of course Jerusalem is the, the the city of the king, the holy city. And mm -hmm. all of the heads of the churches in Jerusalem, many of them are patriarchs and archbishops and, and, and such. And so the head of the Coptic church in Jerusalem should also be of the same rank as, as the rest of them. So we have P. Episcopus, the bishop, P. Metropolitis, the metropolitan, okay? 
uh, Lena, can you say the next one? Oh, uh, yeah. It's an easy one. <clears throat> hey, Benib. Benib, yes, Benib. Benib literally means our master. And in Arabic, we say Sayyidna. So when we address one of the bishops, we say what Sayyidna, which is Benib. Mina, can you say the next one also? It's, it's very easy. Sure. Uh, Ava Yusuf. Ava Yusuf. Ava, Ava Yusuf. Yusuf, sorry. Yeah. So we, we, we can say Benib, Ava Yusuf, our uh, Sayyidna, our master, Ava Yusuf, Amba Yusuf. Good. Okay, next. Um, Madame Nadia George. Presbyteros. Yes. Ip presbyteros. Ip presbyteros, which means what? The presbyter, which is the priest, right? Ip presbyteros, which is the priest. Presbyter. Teros. Okay. Uh, Madame Seham? Peniot. Uh, Peniot. Easy one. Peniot. Peniot, which means our father. Um, of course, yes, we say our father who art in heaven, but also the priests, we call them Abuna, our father. So we say Benyot. Can you read the next one also? It goes with it. Yeah. Abba Yusuf. Yohannes. Abba Yohannes. Abba Yonas. Yonas. Yeah. Abba Yonas. Abba Jonah or Abba Abuna uh, Yonas. So Benyot, Abba Yonas, Abuna, Abba Jonah. And then the last one, uh, Sue. <clears throat> Zia. Pidiacon. Pidiacon. Pidiacon or Pidiacon. Either, either way. Diacon, which is deacon. Pidiacon, the deacon. Okay, so we have Isos Be Christos, Jesus Christ, P. Patriarchis, the patriarch. P. Metropolites, the Metropolitan, P. Episcopus, the Bishop, Benib, Sayyidna, Ava Yusuf, Amba Yusuf, Epresviteros, the Presbyter, the Priest. There's another word also, I didn't put it in here, Pihirumenos. Pihirumenos is the Higumen. So there's also two ranks of the priest, just like there's two ranks of the Bishop, there's also two ranks of the priest. So Pihirumenos is the Higumen. This is the second level of the priesthood. Benyot, which means Abuna, our father, Abba Yunas, Abba John, uh, Jonah, and then the deacon Pisiakon. Okay? All right, so now let's try to read uh, some simple sentences, you know, uh, formed from the words that we just learned. So, uh, Thomas, can you say the first one? Yes. Nani. A toe pa payot. Oh, very good. Nane at owe payot. We said Nane at owe is good morning. Payot is father or my father. So Nane at owe payot. Good morning, father. Okay. Uh, Madame Nadia Mikhail. Okay. Nane payot. This is the R. Okay. Ro. Rohi. Yes. Uh, tama, tamav. Tamav. Very good. Nane Rohi Tamav. tamav. Nane Rohi. Good evening. Tamav is my mother. Very good. Okay. Christina. Next one. Nofri Egor. Yes. Continue. Sorry. I didn't see that. Tasoni Emenrit. Yes, Nofri Igor, Tasoni Emmanuel. Good night, my beloved sister. Okay, next one, um, Adam Isis. Nofri. Penib. Penib. Mem. Menpit. Emmenrit. This, this is the R. Again, I know this this letter confuses many people because in English it's a P, but uh, in Coptic it's an R. So, so no free, no free, penib, emmenrit. No free, hello, penib, like Sayyidna, our master, emmenrit, the beloved. So no free, penib, emmenrit, hello, our beloved bishop. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, next uh, is Amina. Okay. Uh, uh, I know. I know the second word is is uh, ebony. Now yeah. it's the bottom. So this is alpha. This is ginger. Yeah. And, and then alpha P and I. Yeah. So. Um, I got me, oh yeah, yeah, I got me in Neem. Very good. Agabi or Arabi Benib. Arabi, we said means literally means love, but could be used as a as a greeting. So Arabi Benib, like hello Sayed. Can mm -hmm. you read the next one also, Mina? It's very yeah. easy to the same. Emanim Benyod. Arabi Benyod. Arabi Benyod. Arabi Benyod, which means hello Abuna. So hello Abuna, we can say Arabi Benyod. Hello Sayedna, we can say Arabi Benib. Okay. Uh, next, uh, Madame Seham. Uh, Empireti. This is the T-I, right? Okay. Empireti, yes. And uh, on. on Tassoni Maria. Very good. Empireti on, we said means it, not like this. Tassoni, my sister, Maria. So Empireti on Tassoni Maria, not like this, my sister, Maria. Okay, uh, <coughs> Madame Nadia George. Christos, Isos be Christos, Emini Nimak. Very good. Isos be Christos, Emini Nimak. Isos be Christos is Jesus Christ, Emini Nimak means always with you. So Jesus Christ is always with you. Very nice greeting also we can say to somebody when they are like leaving the house. I, we want to say Rabbana Mak. Jesus with you, Jesus with Christos, and me, me, Mac. Okay, and then the next one, uh, Madame Sue. Yes, and talk and. And then Yes, very good. Tishe Behmot and Tot, thank you. Pen Episcopus Yusuf, our Bishop Yusuf. Tishe Behmot and Tot, Pen Episcopus Yusuf. Very good. So I'll I'll read the phrases again here. So we have Nane Atoi Payot. Good morning, Father. Nane Rohi Kamav. Good evening, Mother. Nofri Igor, the Sony Emmenrit. Good night, my beloved sister. Nofri Penib Emmenrit. Hello, our beloved bishop. Arabi Penib. Hello, Sayedna. Arabi Penyot. Hello, Abuna. Empireti on the Sony Maria. Not like this, my sister Maria. Isos Bechristos Emini Nimag. Jesus Christ is always with you. And then Tisheh Behmot and Turk. Pen Episcopus Yusuf, thank you, our uh, Bishop Yusuf. Okay, very good. So let's now um, switch over to um, the rites. So last week we started yeah. to talk about uh, the, the, the church books, the books that we use in our church. And we talked about, uh, about half of them. And mm -hmm. then we'll continue the, the other half today. So who can remind me, what is the most important book that we have in the church? What is the Bible. first book? The Bible. The Holy Bible. Oh, good. Yeah. The Holy Bible. What, uh, what's after the Bible? Uh, liturgy. The liturgy book. Liturgy. And then after Bible. that? Abbeya. Abbeya book. Okay, very good. So the Holy Bible, which is the word of God, the liturgy book, which is the, the prayers of the Eucharist, of the liturgy, the Agbeya, which is the prayer of the hours, and then after that, the deacon service book, which has the hymns uh, for all the occasions. What else? What else did we talk about? What Katamaris. is Yes, the Katamaras, Katameros, which is the daily readings. And how many Katameros do we have? Seven. Uh, oh, oh. That's Twelve. too many. 
11 or 12? Mm, that's it's too many still. No. <laughs> Three, actually. It's a four. Five, I think. <laughs> <laughs> like an auction. <laughs> There's five. Wait, I'm five sorry. Four. You said four, right? Or f f sorry, four. Yes, four. Four. So we have the 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 regular annual Sundays. Sundays. Yes, and the Week regular days. weekdays, and then the holy the holy uh, f fast, the great fast, yes. and then the holy fifty days. Oh, exactly. Mm -hmm. it, yes. With what we're in right now. Yeah, so the, the, the regular Sundays, the regular weekdays, the Holy Fast, and the Holy Fifty Great Days. Fast. Okay, what else? What is the book that has the lives of the saints? What is that? The Synexar. The Synexarian. Or the Synexar. Okay, so yes, the Katameris, which is the daily readings, and the Synexarian, which is the lives of the saints. And then we also talked about the Book of Melodies which has the praises for the distribution, the, the praises that we chant uh, while Abuna is distributing the communion. The next set of books, um, so we have another very important book, which is the Psalmody, the Psalmody book. Um, so um, there's, this is the book of praises, like all the midnight praises that we praise um, is in the Psalmody book. And there are two different psalmody books. There is the regular psalmody book, and then there's the kiyak psalmody book. Okay. So first, we talk about the regular psalmody book. Um, so in in the in the midnight praises, we have what are called hosts, hosts or hosts, right? Uh, which means canticle, which means praise. Okay. It comes from the word host, host, which means Praise, like we say, praise him and glorify him. Host means praise. I think I told you the story. The word hausa in, in Arabic came from the word host. Um, mm -hmm. How? When, when the Arabs entered Egypt and um, uh, Egypt uh, was full of monasteries and churches, of course. <clears throat> Um, it's, it was so full of monasteries that uh, it is said that uh, monasteries spread throughout the desert that you can hear the praises from one monastery to the, to the other monastery. And um, at, at, at the, the monasticism at, at its height, uh, there were more than 80,000 monks in, mm. in Egypt. If we look at the, yani the, the north and also the, the south of upper Egypt, there was more than 80,000 monks. The, 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 the monasteries of St. Bachomius by themselves, St. Bachomius had seven uh, monasteries for men and three monasteries for women. And each monastery had about 10 to 12,000 monks in them. Um, wow. So um, of course the praising was, was uh, is a no. pivotal service in the monasteries um, and in the, in the churches, of course. Um, so, yeah, so they were always praising. So when the Arabs entered, they kept on hearing the word Hoserov, Hoserov, Hoserov. So that's where the word Hausa came from. They kept on saying El Hausadi, El Hos, Hos, El Hausadi. That's where the word Hausa came from. Hausa, mm -hmm. which means noise, because to them, this was noise. So we have the four, host, the four hosts. Um, the first host, which is the um, uh, song of Moses and the children of Israel when they cross the Red Sea. The second host, which is the host of Thanksgiving, um, taken from the Psalms. The third host is the host of the three young men in the fiery furnace. And then the fourth host is the last three Psalms, Psalm uh, 148, 149, and 150, which is uh, the, the, the praise of the entire creation. Um, then we also have the commemoration of the saints commemoration of the saints where we remember all of the saints and we ask the saints to pray for us that the Lord may forgive us our sins so we say intercede on our behalf O lady of us all that the altar calls Mary the mother of Jesus Christ that he may forgive us our sins intercede on our behalf O holy archangel Michael and Gabriel that he may forgive us our sins and we go throughout the entire um, ranks of the saints we begin with Saint Mary and then the angels, and then uh, St. John the Baptist, 
And then we start to talk about the Old Testament saints, like the patriarchs, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And then we start to talk about uh, the apostles. Um, and then we start to talk about the martyrs and then the confessors and then the saints. So this, this is the ranks of the saints uh, in heaven as well. And then we also have the Sali, the word Sali is uh, Coptic for praise. So we have hos in Greek, which means praise, and we have Sali in Coptic, which means praise. And so we have seven days in the week. And so we have seven different Salis, one for each day. So there's a Sunday Sali, Monday Sali, Tuesday Sali, like that. When we chant the midnight praises, we are us usually chanting for the upcoming day because we chant it at night. Mm -hmm. So on Saturday night, after Asheya, after Vespers, when we start to chant the midnight praises, we are chanting the midnight praises for Sunday, for the next day, okay? Um, also, there are Salis for different occasions. Like there's a Sali for the resurrection, there's a Sali mm -hmm. for the ascension, there's a mm -hmm. Sali for the great fast. There's a Sali for the Feast of the Cross. Uh, and okay, there's also you. Salis for saints. Yes, yes, so um, the, the, the Salis for the weekdays, even, even if there is um, Salis for occasions, we also chant the Salis for the weekdays. Each one of the, of the weekdays has a theme about it. So for example, the Sali for Saturday, which we would be chanting either Friday night or before Vespers on Saturday, this speaks about the name of Jesus Christ, mentioning your holy name gives joy to our souls. Oh, my Lord Jesus Christ, um, my good Savior. The Sali for Sunday, they're all about the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, by the way. All the Salis are uh, arranged on the name of the Lord okay. Jesus Christ. Um, so the Sali for Sunday also speaks about the, the, the name of salvation of Jesus Christ. And we say, my Lord Jesus, help me. And then, uh, on, uh, and then the following verse, the refrain would be, my Lord Jesus Christ, help me. Um, <clears throat> the Salis are also um, alphabetical. So the first verse will always start with alpha. The second verse will always start with vita. The third one will start with gamma, like that. And they rhyme, they're poetic. So you'll find the, the salis, uh, they, they rhyme either at the end or, or maybe even you know, uh, within, the, within the verse. Like for example, the Sali for, uh, the Sali for the Virgin Mary that is chanted on Wata's days. <coughs> it goes like this. I saw the Minnesachin Teti Kikli say in Revin Teti Sophia's Go a map tie and tip an agay at the parthenosis of Maria. You see, it rhymes. Each stanza ends with a, 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 a like that. Um, then we have the Theotokaya. The Theotokaya. The Theotokaya comes from the word Theotokos, Theotokos, which means mother of God. Theotokaya means a praise for the mother of God. And again, we have seven days. And so we have seven Theotokayas. And again, each Theotokaya has a theme, like the Theotokaya of Sunday, which is the, the, the more uh, um, common one because we chant it every Saturday night. This, the theme of it is the tabernacle. And so we look at the tabernacle and all the articles of the tabernacle and how they resemble the Theotokos, the mother of God. The Theotokaya of Monday speaks about Adam and Eve and compares uh, the Theotokos, the mother of God, to Eve. Um, so there's a theme for each one. Um, and then there's the conclusion. This is very, very quickly, uh, you know, a, a very high level summary of the praises. I think I gave you um, a, a whole lecture on the praises once before. You should be able to find it in the, um, in the recordings. So Anish, this is, uh, Ger Gerges, please, uh, you, you mentioned the four hoses. Remind me of the second one again. I remember the one, Moses, and then the second one was who? The Thanksgiving, the Thanksgiving praise. The Thanksgiving, thank you very much. Yes. Um, so this is uh, the, the, the regular psalmody book. The Kiak psalmody book um, is, has additional praises 
on top of the hymns that we chant uh, during the regular um, Sundays. Um, and these hymns are focusing all on the incarnation of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why we chant it during Kiak. And so if you can see here the, the picture of the psalmody book, if we go back to, uh, you see how this is, this is the regular psalmody book. It's uh, maybe about, uh, I don't know, 200 pages or so. Uh, the Kiak psalmody book is about a thousand pages. It's like four or five times larger than the regular psalmody book. Um, so these psalmies, um, for each one of the praises that we have in the regular psalmody book, there are psalmies, melodies, and expositions that are added to each one of them to further magnify and glorify the Theotokos and the um, incarnation. So if we have a praise, like the first host, for example, so there will be a psalmy that's chanted before the praise, and then there's a melody chanted after the praise, and then there's an exposition which explains uh, the praise. So if we look at the first host as, a, as an example, so there's a psalm before the first host, it begins with the Lord has reigned. And then the melody, the Lord said to Moses, the Lord said to Moses, that my people go like that. You remember now from Kiak, right? And it's in the same tune as the lupsh of the hose. Like the lupsh of the first hose goes what? Uh, uh, so the same thing, the Lord said to Moses like that. And then there's an exposition that's read afterwards, which explains this hose. The Lord said to Moses, extend your rod and hit the, 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 the sea and it will open. So it explains it and, and maybe there's some contemplation on it. The second host, I'm just giving you two examples. The second host, uh, the Sally Fort is my heart and my tongue. My heart and my tongue praises the Trinity. Oh, holy Trinity, have mercy. Oh, that's the the, the Sali before the second hose. And then the melody after the second hose, let us praise with David, like that. The same, like that lupsh, the lupsh goes what? And then the exposition, which explains, begins the same way let us sing with the hymnist david saying you know thank the lord etc cetera, etc cetera. so now now when you attend the kiak you understand why there it's longer and why there are many more additions it's because for each praise we add a sali before the praise we add a melody after the praise and then we add an exposition uh, at the end of the praise the next book, um, people who attend the Midnight Praises will be familiar with this book. People who do not attend will not be familiar. Maybe they never heard of this book. It's called the Antiphonarium, Antiphonarium, or in Arabic, it's called the Difnar. What is this? It contains veneration and a brief history of the saint of the day, okay? Um, and it's used in the Vespers, but mainly in the Midnight Praises. So at the very end of the Midnight Praises, uh, mm. before we say, you know, the conclusion, which, uh, uh, which is Nekhnai Ova Noti, and then Amin, before we say that, we read the Antiphonarium, the Difnar. And the, different, the difference between the Senexarium and the Antiphonarium, the Synexarium tells us the story, the history. So there's a lot more history in the Synexarium. Like this saint was born in this year and he was born in this village and he was uh, baptized at this age and he was ordained uh, a monk and then he was ordained a priest and then he was ordained a bishop and then he served as a bishop. And it tells us the whole story, right? The Antiphonarium, doesn't do that. It may give us a very brief, a very brief story, like 
today the church celebrates the the you know the the repose of this great father Ava so and so who uh, worshipped God for many years in the desert. That that's maybe all it's going to tell us about the story. And then the rest of it is a, a contemplation and veneration for the saints. Okay. Blessed are you, O saint, for you have done this and this. Blessed are you, O saint, for you have done this and this. It may give us some, um, some, some points in his story, but it's not written as a history. It's written as poetry. It's written as contemplation. Um, so that's the difference between the antiphonarium and the synexarium. We also have the book of the Sali's. So remember I told you there are Sali's for many different occasions. So there's a book, uh, it's called the book of Sali's, Kitab the Psaliyat, which contains all the special Sali's and the expositions uh, for all the feasts and uh, yeah. of the saints uh, that are not found in the regular Psalmody. So if you open this book of Sali's and let's say, I think yesterday was the feast of um, St. Macarius of Alexandria, I believe. It was yesterday or the day before. Um, <clears throat> so if you open the Book of Sali's on, on that day, you'll find that there is a Sali for St. Macarius of Alexandria. And there may also be a, an exposition that may be read um, uh, for, uh, for that day. The next book is the Book of Processions the book of processions. What are we talking about here? We are talking about the processions of two major events, the feasts of the cross and the, the feast of Hosanna Sunday. So in, in that we celebrate the feast of the cross twice in the Coptic calendar. And of course we celebrate Hosanna Sunday at the beginning of uh, Holy Week. Um, so during those three events in Matins, at the beginning of the liturgy, there's a procession that is done around the church. And this procession has 12 stations. I'm not gonna talk about the stations today uh, because we talked actually about that when we talked about Holy Week and, and, uh, and Palm Sunday. Um, but before, in each one of these stations, we stop, we read a gospel reading, and then we chant the response. And then we go on to the next station and the next station and the next station, 12 stations, uh, all around the church. Um, so this book, the book of processions, contains the full um, information about the readings and the and the responses that are chanted during the feasts of the cross and the feast of Zena Sunday. The same book also contains the expositions and the salis of the great fast and the holy fifty days. So now we have. The, the, the book of Sali's, which we talked about right before this one, that contained the Sali's for every day, like the saints and, and, and other events. And then for the Sali's of the Great Fast and the Holy 50 Days, they would be found in the book of the processions, Kitab Ibdora. Another very important book, but we only use it for one week during the whole year, and it's, it's a very thick book, is the Baskha book lectionary. The Basha Book Lectionary. Uh, Basha Week Lectionary contains all the chants, rites, and readings of Holy Basha Week, starting from Hosanna Sunday until the end of the Great Friday prayers, actually, until Abu Haramsi is also is included in there. So, this is the Basha Week uh, book or the Basha mm -hmm. Week Lectionary. Mm -hmm. Then we have another book. Uh, maybe also not very uh, well known, the book of the Lacan and prostration prayers, Kitab al Kitab al This contains the prayers of the three liturgies of the waters, and the An is the liturgy of the waters. We, we pray the liturgy of the waters three times a year. We pray the liturgy of the water on the feast of baptism, which is theophany or epiphany. We pray it on uh, uh, Covenant Thursday or Holy Thursday. And we also prayed on the Feast of the Apostles. So these are the three times th during the year that we pray the Liturgy of the Waters or the La'an, the Lakan. This book also contains the prostration prayers of the Feast of the Pentecost. This is a very special prayer. It's uh, three prayers on the Feast of the Pentecost, which is the last day 
uh, of the Holy 50 Days, which is the, the feast of the descent of the Holy Spirit. Um, during the liturgy, we only pray the third hour. Usually on every, on all Sundays, we, we pray in the Akbeya, we pray the third and the sixth hour. On the Holy Pentecost, we only pray the third hour because the Holy Spirit descended upon the apostles in the third hour. And then after the liturgy, we pray, we, we finish the Akbeya prayer. So we finish the sixth and the ninth and the 11th and the 12th. And then we start the prostration prayers. The prostration prayers are very deep prayers that speak about the ascension and, and the descent of the Holy Spirit and um, uh, the, the worship of the Holy Spirit. That's why the third prayer in the prostration prayer is about the Samaritan woman. Um, we, we know the story of the Samaritan woman. We read it actually three times a year. The Samaritan woman is read during uh, the Holy um, uh, Fast, the Sunday of the Samaritan. It's also read during Holy, the Holy 50 days. It was um, not last week, but the week before, mm -hmm. uh, because that's uh, we, when the Lord said, I am the, the life-giving water. And then it's also read in the prostration prayers in the third watch or the third prayer of the prostration prayer, because this is when the Lord told her um, that God desires those who worship in spirit. So now we are, we are entering into the worship of, of the Holy Spirit. The next book is actually a set of books. It's called the Book of Church Offices. What is office? It doesn't mean like the office of Abuna and the office of the deacon. And we're not talking about like a physical office. Offices here means prayers, like officiating. Um, so these are the prayers, the officiating prayers. And most of them are sacraments, but there are, there are also some that, that are related to the sacraments, but not sacraments. So sacraments like baptism, uh, like uh, uh, holy uh, matrimony, like the unction of the sick, these, these sacraments, they are found in the book of the church offices. Also other um, uh, prayers like baby's first bathing. Uh, in, in Arabic, it's called hamim al um, and some people call it the, the prayer of naming. So they used to name the child when they prayed this prayer, the, the first baby. Um, confirmation, of course, is a sacrament. Uh, engagement. Engagement is not a sacrament, but it's related to the holy matrimony. Uh, unction of the sick, of course, is a sacrament. Funerals are not sacraments, but they are prayers. Um, so all of these prayers would be found in the book of the church offices. Um, as, a, as I said, it's a series of, of books, uh, at least, you know, the printed English ones. Um, I think there's like four volumes um, uh, of these books. And then the last book that we will talk about, there may be other books, but these are the books that I wanted to introduce to you and, and make you aware of. The last one is the book of ordinations, ordinations and consecrations. So this contains the prayers for ordaining deacons, ordaining priests, um, ordaining bishops, um, ordaining monks, and consecration of new churches, consecration of icons, consecration of vessels. All right, so let's review. What was the, the most important book that we talked about? Holy the Bible. Old, the Holy Bible. And I want you to, yeah, to know the first three books because they're the most important. So the Holy Bible, after the Holy Bible is? The liturgy, the liturgy book. The liturgy book. And after that is? Agbeya. Very good. So the Holy Bible is the word of God upon which everything else is built. The liturgy mm -hmm. book, the prayer of the Eucharist. The Agbeya is the prayer of the hours. Then we have the deacon service book, which has the hymns for all the occasions. Katameros. It's important. There's four. This, these are the daily readings. There's the Sundays, weekdays, uh, Holy Fast, and uh, the Holy 50 Days. 50 days. Synexarium is the lives of the saints. Yeah. This is the history mm -hmm. of, the, of the saints. The Book of the Melodies, this is the praises for the distribution. Then we talked about the annual psalmody. This is, uh, it contains all of the praises that we chant uh, throughout the year. <laughs> and then we have a special psalmody for Kiyak, the month of Kiyak. 
Nice. The Antiphonarium. This is also about the saints, but this is uh, more poetic. This is contemplations and venerations on the lives of the saints. The Sallies, this is the, the praises for the saints and for occasions. The Book of the Processions, this has the processions for Palm Sunday and the Feast of the Cross. And, and the uh, Sallies and Expositions for Holy Week, yes, and okay. the Holy 50 Days. Mm -hmm. The Bascha Week Lectionary, which contains all the prayers of the Holy Bascha Week. The Lakan and Prostration, which has the prayers for the Liturgy of the Waters. And there's, we said there are three liturgies, uh, three times that we celebrate the Liturgy of the Waters. We have the Feast of the Epiphany, the, fe the Feast of um, Holy Thursday, which is, by the way, it, it is a feast, even though it comes in the middle of Holy Week and we don't really feel it, but it is one of the minor feasts of the Lord. Um, and then uh, the third one Holy is... Holy Thursday? That's Holy Thursday, yes. And, and then, then the Feast of the Apostles. The third one is the Feast of the Apostles, yes. Mm -hmm. And then we talked about the church, the book of the church offices. This contains all the sacramental prayers as well as the related prayers. And then the last one was the book of ordinations and consecrations, which contains the prayers for ordaining and consecrating mm -hmm. uh, people and, and uh, items in the church. All right. So now let's review. Okay, so how many church books in total did we cover? 16. 16, very good. How many psalmody books do we have in the Coptic church? Two. Two. What are they? Regular, regular and kiah. Very good. The regular and kiah. How many liturgies does the Coptic church use and what Three. are they? Three. 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 Same Basil, Zenzero, Zenzero, Zenzero. Very good. This was from last time. Let's see if you remember. What's an easy way to remember the books of the Old Testament? Five, twelve, five, five, twelve. Very good. Five, five, twelve, five, five, twelve. So that's total of how many books? Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. And then what about the the deuterocanonical books, how many books do we have in the 27? Seven and four. Yes, seven and four. Seven and four, sorry. So if, if we add them all together, of course, the four are, are, are parts of, of existing books. So if we add the right. seven to the 39, so then how many total books of the Old Testament does the Coptic Church have? 45, 736, 36, 46. 46, yes, 46. How many books in the New Testament? 27. 27. 27. How many prayers are there in that veil? Seven. 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 And one for, the, one for the monks. Exactly. Yes, seven plus one. So seven for everybody and then one for the monks, which is the prayer of the veil. What is the name of the book containing the readings used in the liturgy? The liturgy book. The readings containing the readings. Uh, no. The readings. The readings. Like the, the gospel or the poly. Like the song. Katamaris. 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 And how many of them do we have? Four. Four. Very good. What is the name of the book containing the stories of the lives of the saints? Zixarion. Very good. What is the Defnar or the Antiphonarium and when is it used? The, the story of uh, Saints. Brief stories of the Synexarium. Brief stories, but more contemplation. More contemplation. Yes. Used in, uh, used in Vesper and Midnight. Yeah. Yeah, very good. How many times do we pray the Lacan prayers, the liturgy? Three. Three times. Three. What are Three. they? The, the Omni, uh, Epiphany, the Vida, Holy Thursday, and the Feast Holy of the Apostles. Holy and the Vida, 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 Vida. Very good. Okay, the last question. When is the prostration prayer prayed? After the Vida Pentecost. Or, no, yeah. Very good. Yeah, after, yeah. After. After 
after the Feast of the Pentecost. It's typically in, in the afternoon. Yes, um, yeah, it's, very it's very long. It's very long, Gilgis. That's why I never attended it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's three prayers, as I said, and each prayer um, has like Thanksgiving prayer and has um, a um, uh, reading uh, from the uh, from the Pauline and has a gospel reading um, and has a response, and then there is a prostration at the end of each of the prayers where we all prostrate, where we all um, uh, kneel down and worship. Mm -hmm. And then there's uh, quite a lengthy prayer that the priest prays during this time. Uh, the prostration prayer probably deserves its own lecture so that we can understand um, how it's structured and, and what is the meaning of the prostration prayer. What is prostration in Arabic, please? Sagda. Sagda, okay. Yeah, Salat is Sagda. I remember, uh, Gerges, the, the last Friday in our Great Lent, I attended the, the, the prayer, which is Unction of the Sick, and it contains seven something. Seven what? I don't know. Seven prayers, yes. The Unction of the Sick has seven prayers. Yeah. Um, similar to the Sagda, uh, in, in that the, I mean, the structure is similar. There's a Thanksgiving prayer. There's a Pauline reading. There's a Gospel reading. Um, but, um, but it's not host, right? It's not host. It's it's not what? Ho hose. What do you mean? You know, the race. first hose, the second hose? No, it's not race. like that. No, no. No. There, okay. there, there is a midnight praises that is done before the sagda, by the way, before the prostration prayer. There is a midnight praises that, that should be done. Okay. Um, like, like I said, the prostration prayer is a very special prayer. It's a, it's a long prayer. There are some... Um, uh, special um, uh, meanings to it. Uh, it's it's the, the one time that we pray and commemorate uh, the, the departed, uh, and it has a very special right. So maybe one day we can talk about the prostration prayer so that we understand it. Uh, so, and even even the right is different. So it's three prayers. The first prayer is chanted in, in the festive tone because we're still in the Feast of the Pentecost. Oh. And then the second prayer is chanted at the beginning in the festive tone. And then right after the gospel, it, it transitions to the annual tone. And then the third one is in the annual tone, but it's prayed up in the, in the first chorus and we open the, the curtain. Um, and even the, the structure of the, is different from a regular Ashay. So, like I said, this probably warrants its own um, lecture so that we can understand it. So, when we attend it, we're not the only board. Uh, okay. Um, and glory be to God forever. Um, any questions, uh, any more questions about uh, any of this? Uh, so 